Hi, <coughs> hi everyone, and welcome to TW. Hi everyone, and welcome to TWF um, NXT. I, Gorilla Monsoon, here at Trini Kwan, and with Booker T. And today on NXT, we're going to see Holy Fellow Nicholas here today on NXT. Well, you know something, Booker T says. It's finally great to be on the play-by-play -play team of the Toy Wrestling Gathering. You know, I did SmackDown, you know, on and off for years. I did Raw on and off for years. And now I'm doing NXT. You know, and if they would have digged me out a year ago, I would have been here. Hey, I guess I'm greater than the Jackal, right? I guess you are, Gorilla Monsoon says. And I can't forget that once again on the play-by-play -play team, Trini Kwan's back, too. That's right, Gorilla Monsoon. I'm back, Trini Kwan says, in my new offshoot of myself this time. You know, not that small one that I was, that I win as, but this other one of myself, Trini Kwan says, the Hasbro take on myself. And we're seeing Father Yule in the ring. Yes, we are, Gorilla Monsoon says. We're seeing Father Yule, Holy Fellow Nicholas, Santa Claus, whatever you want to call him, Gorilla Monsoon says. Ho, ho, ho. Happy Yule. I know, it's not truly Yule yet. You know, I know. Shit. What the fuck happened? Oh, Stand up. Oh! I know it's not truly Yule yet that it's still the 11th month and we're going into Thanksgiving Day or Thanksgiving or whatever you want to call it. You know, the holiday where everyone, at least in the 4 1 Reichs, is thankful for everything that they had. Now, the Settled Land already did that and they did it in the 10th month. Now, a lot of folks always ask me, they say, Santa Claus, because that's what they call me, they say, Santa Claus, why is it that you always come at the end of every Thanksgiving walk? Well, I don't come, I don't, I mean, I don't come at every Thanksgiving walk, but I do. I mean, there's going to be folks that will be watching the Thanksgiving Day Walk either on ABC or CBS or NBC or Fox or whatever folk work. You know, he's, I guess he's in CW. And I come at the end because right after Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving Day or whatever you want to call it, it's Yule. And Yule is on looking the birth of Jesus. Son of God, the gift that everyone in the world got, even if they felt that they were worthy of it or not, they got it. Jesus was a gift. God so loved the world so much that God was willing to give us his only son, Jesus, his son who came to earth, the son who healed the sick and the wounded and the handicapped, the son who taught and who the son who taught and spoke of love and kindness and goodwill and forgiveness and love. The son who stood up for what he thought was right. The son who also befriended folks and saw good in them, even though they were sinners. And God so loved us so much and Jesus loved us so much that God was willing to put Jesus in the bind and handicap of sin, which, which death is the handicap and weakening for sin. But through, but since God loved us so much, God was willing to do that. And Jesus loved us so much, Jesus was willing to go through the handicap and weakening of death, which is the handicap. The, the weakening and handicap of sin is death. That's why we die why we get old and die because we became sinful and that's our handicap 
that was never really a slide of God's goal. But you see, through Jesus' death, for all that blood that was spilt, for all of those beatings and for all those beatings and all that all that guilting and shaming and scathing that he went through, something good came out of it. You see, God and Jesus cleaned our sins away through that blood, gave us a stead in heaven, and made us as clean as we could as we man or women like men like or women like beings can be. So we could have a stead in heaven through God, through Jesus. And that's why Jesus is so, why Jesus is the most outstanding man there ever was. No man or woman could ever live a flawless, flawless, sinless, good life. Only Jesus could. Oh, well, now here comes Godzilla now, or God Jorah now, Gorilla Monsoon says. What's he doing here? Oh, Santa Claus. Haven't I been? You talk about God. You talk about Jesus. You talk about God. But how can anyone truly say that you have anything to do with it? I mean, at the end of the day, how can you say that, yeah, see, he tells them. How can you say that you have anything to do with Jesus? You don't. Yes, God gave us Jesus as a gift. Yes, Jesus got gifts on his birthday through those wise kings of, you know, and the gift that Jesus gave us, the gift that God and Jesus gave us, was forever life and a stead in heaven. You have nothing to do with that. You besmirched you. You took you away from Jesus, the one who's you, whose birthday. You did that. I did not do any, I did not take you away from Jesus. You will always be Jesus' birthday in the eyes of the Christian folk. I give out those gifts in the same mindfulness, in the same thoughtfulness that God had, God had, when God gave Jesus to us. The same kindness and thoughtfulness that those wise kings did when they gave gifts to Jesus. The same thoughtfulness and the same minds, the same thoughtfulness and kindness. And that's why I do it. You need to back off and leave Santa Claus alone, Godzilla, or God Jorah. It's Mafra, Gorilla Monsoon says. Well, now we're going to get some word of, some word of thought here, Trini Kwan said. And if anyone can stand up, can stand up for you know, Jesus or Santa, it would have to be Mafra, Trini Kwan says. Godzilla should be ashamed of himself for what he's saying right now. And the ring, Trini Kwan said. You know, Godzilla, or God Jorah, he's been in the toy wrestling gathering since 9 between 98 YL. He's done a lot of good things and he's done a lot of bad things too, Gorilla Monsoon says. Well, he knows he's scathing and shaming Santa Claus. No one's ever done that. Well, never, no one ever scathed or shamed Santa Claus, Booker T goes. He's just telling it as it is. He's telling the truth. Santa has nothing to do with you. All. And Santa took you away from Jesus. Booker T says, Would you stop? Santa didn't take you away from Jesus, Booker T. Would you be earnest? Gorilla Monsoon says. Godzilla, Santa did not take you away from Jesus. You will always be Jesus' birthday in the eyes and the thought and the mind of Christendom folk. The grounds to why Santa can be around and Jesus cannot is that there are other folks from other worships, other beliefs, who would be angered, or they would be irked, or sad, 
that their holiday, their worship, their belief was not being onlooked. So that's why you can that's why you can see Santa go to a shop and sit on Santa's middle and ask him what you want for you or take a likeness with him. That's why Jesus can't come around. Because other worships don't like don't believe in Jesus and they would be see it as being angering them or irking them or making them sad. That's why the, the Coca-Cola business can put him on cans, but they can't put Jesus on cans. So you need to say you're sorry to Santa Claus or Father Yule or whatever you anyone wants to call him. Mafra, you have been my friend and foe on and off for years. And you know what? I want to wrestle you here today. I want to fight you here today because I think that I can beat you. You beat me two times in my films back in the day, only this time I'm going to be the one to beat you. All right, Santa Claus says, I do have some might and slay over the booking and riding here today. So we're going to have ourselves a, 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 a fleet staff match. Bring him out. Ho, ho, ho. Shit. Well, we're, we're bringing out the fleet staffs now, Gorilla Monsoon says. And Santa Claus, you know, had some sleigh over the booking and riding. And here's some Hersey and Reese staffs, you know. And hopefully, Santa Claus, you know, is going. And hopefully, Santa Claus made that match, Gorilla Monsoon says. He has some sleigh over the booking and riding. Not all, but some sleigh, you know. So... you know but those aren't a, uh but you know trini kwan says we don't got a fight keeper we don't got a fight overling yes we do now the one that can't stand up in the ring trini kwan says the one that can't falls down in the ring all the time we got him now trini kwan says oh booker t says how the fuck would he be doing this for booker t says Godzilla's going to beat Mafra. Oh, he hit her with the fleet staff and knocked her down. Yeah, he going to he going to beat Mafra. And every time he beats Mafra, he's going to throw one of those fleet staffs out of the ring. Oh, Booker T says, "Would you stop?" Gorilla Monsoon says, "Godzilla being a creep, being a bully, hitting Mafra with all of those fleet staffs." And then throwing every one of them out of the ring when he hits Mafra with them, Gorilla Monsoon said. Trini Kwan said Mafra came back and hit Godzilla with hers. And now, Trini Kwan's, now, Mafra getting the upper hand, Trini Kwan says. Well, that's right, Gorilla Monsoon says. Mafra's going to get even on Godzilla here today. And we're running out of fleet staffs. You know, we're running out of fleet staffs now. The other ones get put in the ring, Gorilla Monsoon says. Godzilla gets hit again, and the next one's out. Tell me, how can that be fair, Booker T says, that Mafra can hit... Oh, Godzilla just hit Mafra with his tail in a fleet staff, and now he's out of the ring, Gorilla Monsoon says. But I don't think that's over, Gorilla Monsoon says. There are more fleet staffs coming in the ring now, Gorilla Monsoon says. Well, Trini Kwan says, Godzilla or God Jorah, whatever you want to call him, whatever name you want to call him, he isn't done with his fleet staffs. They're still coming, Gorilla Monsoon says. Yeah, Trini Kwan says, and Godzilla is still in the bind of his own making. Trini Kwan says. I tell you what, Booker T said. All those fleet staffs you see. 
Godzilla's just going to hit Mothra with all of them, Booker T says. And Godzilla's going to beat Mothra in a fleet staff match. Which is... Fuck! Oh, do it again. You know, Booker T says Godzilla's going to hit Mothra. Oh, and hit her with a fleet staff and knocked her down with it, Booker T says. Go for it, Godzilla. You're the king of the fiends. Another fleet staff hit to Mothra from Godzilla or Godzora and Booker T. When did you become a heel again, Booker T? When did you become a heel? I was a heel in my first run in WCW. When I was first in GWF, I was a heel. When I was first in WCW, I was a heel and I became good. When I first came to WF, WWE, I was a heel and became good. When I was a TNAW, I was a heel and became good. When I was an IWA, I became, I was good. And my two run WWE, I'm a heel. Oh! Where's your your mindset and stand at, Gorilla Monsoon says. Give me a break. Behaving that way. You gotta like what Godzilla's doing to Mothra right now. Mothra has no has and Mothra has no upper hand, Booker T says. Would you stop, Booker T? Mothra will get the upper hand on Godzilla or Godzora, Gorilla Monsoon says. I can tell you one thing right now. Trini Kwan said, Oh, Mothra got Godzilla back with the fleet staff. He's coming back now. Godzilla, the God George in a bun. Trini Kwan says, Good for Mothra. Trini Kwan says, One more time. And now it looks like Mothra is going to beat Godzilla or God Jora here today on NXT. Trini Kwan said, all right, Girl Monsoon says Trini Kwan Booker T. Let's hope you're right about that. Can Mafra get the one, two, three and beat God Jorah here today on NXT? Girl Monsoon says Mafra beat Godzilla two times in their their two Toho films they made, and then they may, they may have been in other films after that. But Mafra beat God Jora the first two times they fought, Trini Kwan said. There's always a first time for everything, Booker T says. Godzilla or God Jorah is going to beat Mafra, who's more of a, a, a half between a butterfly and a moth, Booker T says. Godzilla just smash her dead, Booker T said. Would you stop Booker T saying God Jora should smash Mafra dead, Girl Monsoon says. Yeah, Booker T, you're being a heel. Stop being like Ebenezer Scrooge. Stop being like Glenn the Grinch, Trini Kwan says. One, two, three. Oh, I get back. Oh. Do it again. Oh. Fuck. Work. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner of the Fleet Staff match. Mothra. And Mothra has beat Godzilla here today on NXT. And the first time those two have fought here in the toy wrestling gathering, Girl Monsoon says. Well, I truly believe that Mothra had a great match, Girl Monsoon says, fighting Godzilla here today, or Godzilla here today. And even though Godzilla may have had a lot of the upper hand, at the end of the day, Mafra beat Godzilla or Godzora. And I'm telling you right now, Booker T said, the only way that God's, that Mafra had the upper hand on Godzilla was that he was beating her up, beating him up with all of those Hersey and Reese Kiss and Peanut Butter Cup staffs and all of those other staffs. Shit. Whoa. That's the only way, Booker T says. No, don't be a don't make a double standard now, Booker T, Trini Kwan says. Don't make up the double standard now, Trini Kwan says. Because God since Godzilla was hitting Mafra with those Hersey and Reese kiss kiss and 
peanut butter staff, you know, staff too. Stand up! All right, take it away now. We go to Mike Lane with Mothra. All right, Gorilla Monsoon. I'm going to be talking with Mothra here today on NXT. All right, Mothra. You beat God Jorah here today on NXT in the Hersey Reese's Staff match. Yes, I did. I did beat Godzilla for the third time. And I know Godzilla or God Jorah, whatever you want to call him, he's still going to go around and call himself the King of the Fiends or the Kaiser of the Fiends or whatever. I don't care. I don't need to give myself a rank. All right? At the end of the day, I beat Godzilla. All right? And Godzilla or God Jorah has never beaten me in any of the films that well, I have been in a lot of his films. All right? But he has never, I have beaten him in the first two films we fought in. And every other film I was in, I was his friend, I backed him up. So Godzilla wants to become that heel again, that creep again, that bully again. That's alright Mike Lane, that's alright because I beat him. Well Mafra, we all know you beat Godzilla or God Jorah in the Reese Hersey's peanut butter cup or kiss staff match that was set up by father Yule here today on NXT. And Mafra, welcome back to the toy wrestling gathering. Well, thank you, Mike Lane. Well, that's my talk with Mafra. Back to you, Gorilla Monsoon. Thank you, Mike Lane, for talking with Mafra here today. <clears throat> Fuck! Thank you, Mike Lane, for talking with Mafra here today on NXT. And that's all the time we got here for NXT. I, Gorilla Monsoon, Trini Kwan, and Booker T. We hope you like NXT, and we'll see you tomorrow. For, we'll see you tomorrow.